see what's going on with with this COVID and stuff. Now we can uh, the NFL is going to let people in are expected to be at full capacity. Um, NBA is look at uh, more and more teams are letting people in the games. You you got New York with the passport visa thing now. Um, the passport visa, <laughs> the vaccine passport, and and I look at it and say. So we just gave big medicine, big pharma more money, huh? So now that we have the vaccine, and I saw earlier this week where the vaccine isn't, may not even be effective within a year because of the different mutations. But now that we have it, now it's being passed out. Now that it's being championed a little bit more, we, we are more accepting of it. And we're opening things up and we're getting stuff back to normal. Although in most places we're still wearing masks and we're still being told that the mask is what's what's right and proper. I don't like the mask. I don't want to wear a mask. I, I, I like to show off my face. I have a really nice smile. And uh, I don't get to show my smile with a mask on. So not a fan of it, but I'm not going to can. I'll wear it for for now, but I really just think all of this was everybody saying this conspiracy, that conspiracy. I'm just gonna go to the conspiracy that kind of just stands pat that um big pharmaceutical companies have the they run the world, and here's what they've done: the world is opening back up, but not without putting money in the big pharmaceutical companies' pockets. And to the ESPN article that I that I looked at. Talk uh, on ESPN Undefeated, which is ESPN for uh, for colored folks, is is pretty much saying that it's on black athletes, on NBA players to come out and and support the vaccine, to and, and advocate for people to take the vaccine, just like they did with social justice. No, it's not. For one, it was not their responsibility to take that role that they took in social justice. But they did. Why? Because they believed in it. It's something that they wanted to do. And I appreciate that. Thank you. But it's not on them to to, 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 to promote the vaccine. If they want to take it, they can take it. If they want to be an advocate for it, they can be an advocate for it. But no one should be pressured into advocating for anything. If you're going to advocate for something, if you're going to support something, if you're going to try to influence people to do something, it should be something that you choose to do on your own. Not because somebody else told you to do it. I just want to apologize to you all because if you were listening earlier, I had the wrong microphone hooked up. My bet this shit sounded awful. I know you heard everything around here. But anyways, uh, let me let's let's get what else do we have on here. 